Let me introduce you to Izzy. She's our first steampunk droid. Now, she actually is quite special. Apart from the fact she was the very first steampunk droid we created, she's got a huge amount of autonomous features on her. Now, what that basically means is I don't need to do anything. She just does it on her own. You can see all her linkages moving. She has, I'm gonna spin her head round. You can see, look, there's lots of gearing moving in her head. Uh, all sorts of things going on there. She is also radio control, of course, because we can drive her around. So her little utility arms open. We can spin our head. We can drive her forwards and backwards, obviously. She even has her party trick. She can lie down. She takes her time. Or she can sit up. We can make her talk. She even has her own horn. Now, Izzy was actually inspired from, well, it, it's a very strange story, really. I was given a player piano, the pianola, the pianos that play themselves. And it sat in our back garden for absolutely ages. And I already had the wheelchair that she was built on. It was a very old uh, cast iron wheel, looked really, really, really cool. But the two, the droid wasn't born. There was no idea that had come then. It gives, this gives you an example. Now, it's getting a bit old, this, because obviously a lot of the pieces I've used, I'm going to put it here, you can see all the linkages, and this had gears on it and bellows on it, and all of those pieces that came off that pianola went into her, including the wood. So I think the pianola was actually dated 1898. So all of these gauges, these dials, these pistons, were all from that pianola, all of these linkages, and it makes her a very, very old droid. <laughs>